Sub sub soy Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply for ERP, Employment Retention Program, 600 per month for your employees. Previously, you have to submit the application through email, and now you do not need to send an email, you just need to go to prihatin.perkeso.gov.my to apply. This is effective 13 April 2020. Just to remind you, what are the things that we can apply during this movement control order? If you are paying a full salary to your employees, you can apply for wage subsidy program. The highest amount is 1200 per employee. If you go for a pay cut, there's nothing much for you to apply. If you go for an unpaid leave, which the unpaid leave is more than 30 days, then you can apply for Employment Retention Program, ERP. The government will give you a support up to six months. Lastly is the retrenchment, or if you go for voluntary separation scheme, you can ask the employee to apply employment insurance system. A quick look at the qualifying condition for ERP. Number one, the unpaid leave has to be 30 days and above, beginning the period after 1st March 2020. Number two is the employee contributor to EIS, Employment Insurance System. Number three, this is only eligible for employees with salary less than 4,000. Number four, the application has to be made by employer on behalf of the employee. This amount of 600 will be credited into employer's account and the employer has to credit the payment to employee within seven days. Sokso or Pekeso in Malay has specified very clearly in some of their guidelines. ERP is for specific industries which were hit by the coronavirus. Many businesses during this movement control order have placed their application in for ERP, but many of them has failed to get an approval. Why? The reason is simple. Those that put through the application based on March 18 until April 14, SOXO will reject all of them because it is less than 30 days. However, due to the movement control order now extends to 28 April, I hope SOXO can now relax the ERP application. During this period, many entrepreneurs and business owners came to me and said, hey, Song, I thought you told me that the MOHR, Ministry of Human Resource, does not allow any employer to give unpaid leave, right? The initial guideline from the MOHR states that the employer must pay a full wage. However, in April, they updated the guideline and this is included in the new guideline. Subject to approval of both parties, the employer can propose to the employee, number one, a paid leave, number two, a half pay leave, or number three, unpaid leave. If this is a paid leave, you can apply for WSP. If this is an unpaid leave, you can apply for ERP. One thing that I want to highlight to you is, at one time, employee can only choose one scheme. You cannot apply both. For example, if you take wage subsidy program, you cannot apply for ERP. Or if you take ERP, you cannot apply for WSP. The flow of the funds works like this. The EIS will transfer the funds into the employer account and the employer will transfer the funds to the employee's account. And the support period is up to six months, depending on the notice that you send. There are four things that you have to prepare before this application. Number one is the employee listing. Number two is the no pay notice. Number three is bank statement. And number four is the BRN letter. One and four is provided in the SOXO website. So you do not need to worry about the template. The template is provided. This is a new prihatin.perkeso.gov.my website. Now you have to key in the security code before you log in. Once you key in the security code, you will see two new photos for you to choose from. Uh, today we are going to do ERP, so just click on the left hand side. Once you click on the left hand button, they will ask you to put in your employer code, your SOXO employer code, and your email address. If there's no record of your application, then you need to click on the Pemohonan Baru, a new application. Here there are things that you need to comply. Number one, the employee, including a part-timer, has registered and paid SIP 
or the employment insurance system. Number two is the employee salary has to be less than 4,000. Number three, the employer has issued out a no pay leave notice for at least 30 days. First of all, you need to put in your company registration number, the bank account number, Hey, what is the bank, your company name, and then your code Machikan. Next is to put in your industry, let's say you are from the retail, and what is your activity. You can also reference to your principal activity in your audited financial report. Next, you put in your address, you put in your postcode, you put in your state, phone number, an email address. Total number of employees, let's say you have 10, 3 of them you are claiming the ERP, there are 5 which is above 4001, and maybe you have 2 foreign workers. Next, you have to put in 4 supporting documents, which we have discussed earlier. Number 1 is the no pay leave notice. The company has to issue a no pay leave notice to the employee and make sure both sides agree with the arrangement. Number 2 is the Sanarai Pekerja, the employee listing. You can download the employee listing on the right hand side. Number 3 is the bank panel letter. You can also download this on the right hand side. Number four is your bank statement. So we will look into these two documents, the employee listing and also the BRN letter. This is the Excel for the employees. First, you need to put in the employer's code, SOXO number. Second is the company's name. Third is the bank registration number. And four is the bank account. If this is the first claim, you put Pertama, you put in the employee's name, his IC number, his destination, his number, and his email. And here you have to put in what is the date of unpaid leave, when it starts and when it ends. Let's say we are doing a March 1st until 31st May. And what is the wage amount? Next is your BRN letter, the business registration number letter. This is available in the website itself. The website provides you a word file for you to edit. So what you need to do is to replace this letterhead to your own company's letterhead or you can create your own letterhead on the top of the header. Next is the most important part of your letter which is the business registration number. This business registration number must be able to match back to your bank account details. Then you put in your name, put in your phone number and the email address. When you save this file, please remember to export it or save it as a PDF file. Choose PDF and save. Once these processes are complete, now you need to do is just to upload the letters. Number one is no pay leave notice. Number two is the list of employees. Please make sure the list of employees is in Excel format. If you put a PDF format, that's the error message that you will receive. You have to make sure it is an Excel file. Number three is the ID Pengenalan Bank Panel, which is the BRN letter, has to be in PDF. Number four is your bank statement. After complete, just press Seteruskan. Once you proceed with Teruskan, then you will see a summary of your employee's details. What you need to do is just to look into the details and make sure all the information is correct. Once you proceed with registration, what you need to do is to double check all your details, the employer details is correct. Make sure all the documents that you submitted, uploaded is correct. And the last part is just a simple declaration. Number one is to ensure all the documents and information provided is true. Number two is that you understand if let's say the information is incorrect, SOXO can take legal action against the company. Number three, you have to make sure when, when you receive this amount, you have to transfer it into the employee's account within seven days. This is the new guide on ERP 2.0 application. If you have any questions that you want to clarify, for example, after you submitted, you didn't receive your reference number, you want to make sure whether you have submitted or not, you can always call these numbers or you can drop an email. I am Song and thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Sub, sub, so you